ए हो कि पनेमा को मैं कहा मई ए मई ए कुम मई की आइन मां के कून ओ मे को अ प्लेस ऑफ वॉर्म्थ अ प्लेस ऑफ ब्यूटी अ प्लेस वेयर द स्पिरिट्स ऑफ आवर एंसेस्टर्स स्टिल एग्जिस्ट फॉर अस इट इज सो इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी थिंक ऑफ द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन we need to make sure that they have this fresh air that we're breathing the ko is one of the trees that kamehameha ekahi who is the chief that united all of our islands together this was his favorite and whenever i look at a ko tree for example look at its understory it's greener still kamehameha like that tree took care of his people it takes care of whatever is underneath it and also whatever comes from the top i've seen birds here that are finally coming back once you plant a tree it's rooted that's okay if you come from different parts of the mainland but now you're planting a seed a seed for avery and a seed for those that are not here yet so when you plant that tree talk to your ohana share the, your manao let's go plant way. some trees this feel a lot for you're kind of in the halfway really yes it is so it's it's oh that happy <laughs> I think this is amazing. It's incredible. I think it's really unbelievable. I think it's kind of paradise. What do you think? Does it feel like a perfect spot? We love the spirituality of it. Just absolutely beautiful to do this project. And it's you can feel it in the air. This book here look at how the leaves change. This is like one mid change. and it's going Whoa. from that kind into that. Oh, so cool. Isn't that amazing? This is our RFID tag. We want to put it kind of up about a foot or two in there. That's where years and years from now, if we want to confirm that this tree is Avery's tree, once the forest connects, it can start operating like a forest instead of trees in a field, right? So <clears throat> and it happens one tree at a time. This is for the generation that's not here yet is very 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 meaningful I think and that's part of what this world needs more of us to start you know worrying about what we're leaving for the next person instead of what we're taking for ourselves so it's pretty it makes me pretty excited as a mom to get to do this with my kiddos and my parents too and make sure to touch the top of your tree cuz one day it'll be way up there My name is Brooke and I have dedicated this tree to all the victims of shootings across the country because their lives were lost way too soon. So this tree to commemorate that. Starts from them. Mm-hmm. That was beautiful. The world is full of, you know, extraordinary children. Yeah. And they just need to stay extraordinary when they grow up. Oh my gosh, it's intoxicating. I love it. It's, it's so beautiful. And I think I knew we should change the scent. Oh, in a low halani? <laughs> in, in the lobby. Yeah, we could. how incredible this whole organization and experience and endeavor is we were so fortunate to be able to come here and do this and for me to do it with my children and my parents because to see the magnitude of these 400,000 trees that have been planted in this initiative and how it's 
literally bringing back that kind of nature that's going to thrive and be reborn and recreated from this initiative is just there aren't really words for that as we all talked about earlier this is this isn't something that's for not just ourselves in the here and now it's for it's for all the generations that are to come after us and it's really just a gift you know it's a gift to the world and so my tree is dedicated um to all of those future generations and and with the hope that they will learn from this and this will become a model for how we can all take care of the world and play a part in it and really just sort of love that journey so here we go i hope i remember from last time it's really a special thing when you can kind of look to take care of the environment and put things back and take care of its natural state and be a part of that and feel like you know you're not just existing in a place that you're actually a part of a place and you're part of its health and a part of its community and so to use kind of that experience of of all those guests that come through hotels and say hey look at this look at what's going on and to be able to you know spread the message and allow them to be part of it and just from an experiential standpoint I mean it's just amazing to come up here and see this land um, and connect with nature in a way that a lot of people probably come to Hawaii and don't really ever know that anything like this is here it's just not what you typically think of when you're planning a Hawaiian vacation so I just think it's just really special to be able to be part of you know sharing that message and, and educating people to this to this experience. <laughs> Thinking this is a very special day. It's a privilege to be able to care for the earth. Without being a caretaker for the world we're in, then nothing else really matters. And I think that's one of the most important things we can do. I think a project like this, be a legacy partner, is important, but it's also important for us given that so many people traveling to Hawaii and coming and staying with us at Alohalani or this hotel it could be a hundred thousand people a year and, and if each one of them learn about this and then tell someone else the power of spreading that message and understanding everybody's potential we can leave leave the world in a better place than we found it doing something that you know is couldn't be more meaningful. So we're, we're honored to play a part in that, our small role. No, they can bring their children and walk through a coal forest that they planted. You know, mm -hmm. and that's important. That's important. Yeah, my dad was always like very proud and I think he's more proud today than ever. So. Hello, Helani. May it prosper and grow. The spirit of Aloha Lani. Grow. All right, little sandalwood. Yeah, grow. <laughs>